Uh, this is a museum which is dedicated to the art and science of cryptology, the making and breaking of codes. The use of cryptology has been indelible to success in protecting nation states and in helping nations and organizations to be able to achieve their goals not only in wartime but in peacetime as well. Prior to World War II, the German military was involved in an effort to modernize its uh, armed forces. As part of that, they wanted to improve the way that they uh, communicated on the battlefield. They chose a device called Enigma that had previously been a commercial entity that had been marketed to businesses and banks that had failed commercially. They adopted it because it had the ability to produce permutations of 3 times 10 to the 114th power. Uh, that is more than the observable atoms in the universe and it makes it impossible to do what we call in the cryptologic world a brute force operation, at least at that time. Uh, it works on an electromechanical system. There are three rotors, each with 26 wired points. When you hit a key on the keyboard, the rightmost rotor will move forward one spot, and it's the stepping motion of those rotors that gives the machine its cryptologic power. One of the critical components of this process was a key list that was sent out uh, four times a year that had three months worth of rotor settings. You had to know the setting for the rotors for the 24-hour period, otherwise you would not be able to communicate with everyone in the network. So in many respects, the key list was just as important as the actual device itself in terms of being able to eventually crack uh, the system. The artifact that we're looking at here is called the Sagaba. It is truly the antithesis of the Enigma. Like the Enigma, it is electromechanical. Like the Enigma, it is rotor driven. But unlike the Enigma, there is not one recorded instance, not one, of this machine ever being compromised. This uh, device had 15 rotors, and because of the large number of rotors and the way that they moved, it made it impossible to be able to discern any kind of pattern. And I've talked to some experts who tell me that, at least in an analog world, this machine comes as close to generating perfect randomness as anything ever created. 